Okay, let's go on. We have installed practically all icons that are all, all scripts that are available on Antegos OpenBox. So the installation file here. We've done this one, we've done 100, 200, 300, 400, 410. And some of them point to these as well. So we've gotten we've gotten the majority of the software has been installed. And we have also now this very long plank here with all the icons and something specific, Nemo. So whenever this is Tuner File Manager and even another file manager, and we have also the file manager from what it was delivered with, which is the PC Man FM. So different possibilities, different file managers, it's up to you to choose. I rather like my Nemo because of the kind of work and job I do. But um, the thing is, I like these icons up here. So it's with preference here, we can just click everything. And wherever I am in videos, when I open this here, we are actually in videos, which is okay, but which can be done as well with PC Man FM. I've learned that you can set the terminal and with F4, you also opened open the current folder there. Now there is a disadvantage maybe for you when you open Nemo. I think it's for me it's an advantage. When I start Nemo I can create new folders here. I can work and this is my desktop in real life and virtual life and I do my stuff around here and then I move it to the Dropbox or anywhere else. But some of you will, uh, will like the right mouse click so the right mouse click is now gone and is now replaced with Windows Spacebar. That's how you activate the menu. Like so. So that's the difference. You can fix that by telling it to stop Nemo. I think it's Nemo quit or something like that, that it's called. If you type Nemo minus quit, maybe two minuses, I don't know, two dashes. There you go, and right mouse click is again fixed. So Nemo starts up with, uh, normally you can do something like that, Nemo no desktop, I believe it's called. We do this in i3 WM as well. If we start like so, we have Nemo, and at the right mouse click we still have our menu. So there's no desktop together with the starting of the program, Nemo. So that's a possibility if you want to. I rather like it that I can be able to make folders on my um, desktop here. So if you don't like Nemo, then there is PC Man FM, which is this kind of look. And otherwise you can go for Tunar File Manager, is that kind of look. So there are different kind of file managers and you can just choose whatever you want. That's that. We installed a lot of software. Let's take a look at the software. Accessoires, accessories. Let's see where all the goodies are, the extras are. What I do want to explain to you, but it just depends if we find it or not, otherwise we'll explain something else. Nope, not yet. I'm missing a program. The problem, the program I'm looking for is OB menu generators, something like that. I'm not seeing it now, but we do have Windows D, but Windows D is not working yet because we don't have keyboards yet. It's a lot of configuration before 
open box is really functional eh? that's uh, the deal you have to make um, okay so OB menu generator that's the program I want to run problem is you can't run it here it's, it's, it supplies us with something but it's not what I want I want of course a way to make a graphical changes inside of it let's see what was it again C might be interesting. Let's see if we can fix that. S and minus C. And that's what I want. Static menu has been successfully generated. So something has changed. Let's take a look. This is new. We have a new um, menu here completely different and now we suppose now we have our OB menu generator and our open box and all that okay so we're getting there so this program OB menu generator is going to going to look at two files two files that we have of course already in our scripts here installation personal settings it's called OB menu generator and these are the two files we have edited already so I'm gonna copy them home h.config then the OB menu generator so these two are the standard ones I have my own already and let's take a look what I changed we're gonna go with we're gonna open it with uh, sublime it's much nicer what did I tell the system already that I want as an editor I want sublime text 3 I want I suppose I've changed this as well I don't really don't know I think it's standard uh, maybe not so check out if this name needs to be changed or not um, I told that the GNOME terminal is the one that's going to be my terminal and that's us I think that's that so some configurations and here as well in this schema WL PL pardon other applications sublime set as default okay make it bigger and here as well I'm gonna say this this parameter is my sublime text and this the file manager is Nemo GNOME terminal terminal open box KDG open is, is Firefox and all the rest I just left alone this one I believe I got rid of that one because yeah I was using XFCE so now I'm using tint so I'm gonna get tint back in in the menu and um, I didn't want to use a screen server a saver so that's gone and log out is not something I do I exit things but if you want to you can do that as well exit and log out I think this one was hidden standard we'll check it out later and these are the files so these two files are actually used to make here with the Windows spacebar 
you go inside OB menu generator and now we can generate anything we want because of these two files here this, those are the two, two files we can generate a static menu which is static will not change so if you made uh, installed a new program you should run the menu again dynamic menu is every time it's going to be run and with icons or without icons so I'm going to use the static one with icons right mouse click will not work because I'm using Nemo so Windows spacebar and there you have my two exits now and this is one exit and the other one is this exit so it's there are two ways of uh, exiting and um, well you keep whatever you want so I'm gonna go back and tell him that I don't want this last one save it's still there yes it is so you should run the menu again Op menu generator generate a static menu let's try another one with pipe menu with icons and see how that looks it takes a bit longer you see windows spacebar now it is created so that's an, uh, a generating one so it's always I think uh, interesting to have a generate a static menu with icons or without icons up to you that is the fastest way to show your icons so the file manager should point to Nemo correct right mouse click nope, will not work terminal should point to the GNOME terminal and so on and so on so the menu has been created the way I want it so it's a personal choice a lot of elements in here and this tutorial was all about this open box menu generator which I, I really like because I don't have to work huh? you just put some uh, you take this one and you take that one and you make the adjustments you like the elements you like copy paste some stuff around and um, then you can add things I did I added one of these things was that I added this one for instance so you know I have uh, the areola conkey so I'm pointing with this line go open the configuration file from the areola conkey so it's that easy to change some lines and well I would say enjoy making new themes and no sorry new menu in open box and um, that's it that concludes the tutorial